welcome to another exciting episode of Game Night. I'm your host, Jeffy Vizzer, and once again, I'm playing the Neo Noir third person shooter, L.A. Noir. Previously on Game Night, you witnessed me getting into a lot of trouble as we evaded the police with Cole Phelps' assistance. Today, we're going to finish up this case and with that, this L.A. Noir playthrough. You're fucking cold! the guns Wrong side, bitch! Standing on the wrong side of the pillar. You were an idiot. I started from the beginning? That's not fair. Dead. An inch to the left and you would have had me, boys. Price. That was close. Want me? You got me. Catch him, bullet, you son of a bitch! Jesus Christ. Just make sure he's dead. What is that all about? How long? 
You're surrounded and your buddies are dead! As soon as he pokes his head out, we step on it. Just put him brave for a dead man. Keep on going, Jack. Oh yeah. The water's rising. God damn! Should I not have gotten that thing? Throw out the gun! Oh, that guy. You think you can hold out? Eyes open. Now he's around here somewhere. As soon as he pokes his head out, we step on it. As soon as he pokes his head out, we'll step you on it. You want me? You got it. Oh! Water's rising.
I still don't know where I'm going, where I'm got to go. Could he use these ratings? Nope, I got to do that in one try. So, we're doing this once again. You're going down first. Eyes open. I need them out here somewhere. You're surrounded and your buddies are dead. This one's got your name on it. The water's rising. Come on, hurry your ass. You can do this. There's a straight line towards the ladder. You can do it. Now where do I where do I go? Not here. Can I use a portal gun? No. Are you okay, Princess? I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. Her. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And Naha? Uh -huh. Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? 
Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom. War's over, soldier. I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Elsa! Are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you? No. I don't. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. Hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. And Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get it back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Biggs will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own fucking hands dirty. I'm out of morphine. Put these people out of their pain. Now, that's an order. Courtney, what have you done? Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Belt to an aid station. Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. Cool. Cool. How about this for a headline? Guess which former 6th Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps? He didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge. Wife and kids in tow and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're going to have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. No, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. Can't believe I just went through Petaloo and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? 
hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me. Just the third chap. We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Here, here. A war hero who led his men with true valor and through his personal bravery achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. Fine. You belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer. Who we'll recognized the friend, need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued I was never to his fight enemy. the good fight. I think he knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. A good husband. A good father. And may I say... A good friend. Alright, sadly, Cole Phelps has given his own life for those of Jack Kelso and Ilsa Lickman. At least we remember him as a good cop. This concludes my playthrough of Alien Noir. For the upcoming week, I will take a short hiatus. Game Night will return on Thursday, September 27th with a brand new playthrough. Leave a comment down below with the game you want me to play. But until then, my name is Revisor and I thank you for watching this episode of Game Night. I will see you for season 4 on September 27th.